So, all right. So, titanium. Now, you notice titanium is in the D block. That's why we're doing this one now. So, what is the... Uh, 22. Yeah, 22, 22 the atomic <laughs> number. So, we got 22 electrons. Now, I'm hoping that you're starting to not need this thing, honestly. But, you know, maybe you are. I don't know. So, let's zoom it out a little here. So, titanium is right here. So, what you do again, as a quick refresher, you go, you know, I want to make sure we get this. This is meant to be the easy part of the unit, honestly. So, you go over like this. You just figure out your whole order. I'd assume by the time you take your test, you're just going to have the order memorized, I hope. Um, so, if you actually look at it, it's 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d. Now, again, I shouldn't have to keep writing this, but please remember that s is 1, p is 3, d is 5, f is 7. So, 1s, 2s, we have p, that's 3, and then d is 5. Now, let me show you an easy way to do this. So, some of you probably counted out all the electrons and everything, and I mean, you can do that if you want. But the easiest way to do it is just simply look and say, what is the highest energy sublevel that titanium's in, which is D, 3D. So you fill everything up before that. Just do it automatically. All right. And now you see why drawing arrows, why I do it like this, because it takes forever. Anyway, so you fill it up there. How many electrons did you just put in? If you actually count, it's 20. But if you, uh, the easiest way to do it is simply say, how many over is this in the D block? Three. One, two. One, two. Oh, wow. So all you do is just go one, two, done. Yeah. Is that always work? Yes. Yeah. Every time. So that's like a nice little trick there. All you have to do is just count over, that's all you do. Done. Wait, why did you subtract one? Just because I was showing you if you actually count all these. It is 20. Then you have two left over, but to prove it, if you just count over two, it's the same thing. Yeah. So, next. How come the arrows are only going up? So, why are the arrows only going up? Well, it's not making noise yet. I'm recording the video. Be quiet. That's right. <laughs> so, the arrows are all going up because... When you put them in one at a time, until they double up, they should all be facing the same way. The reason being, the, the spin sort of align, they align themselves like that. That's why, honestly. Um, now, electronic configuration, you just go 1s2, because there's two arrows. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then for 3d, how many do I put in? Two. Two. Theoretically, D can hold 10, but we only need to do two of them because there's only two of them available. And then last but not least, the uh, the noble gas thing. Yeah, well, I don't all right, yeah, I know. So, so you look at noble gas. Titanium's right here. Pay attention to this, though. What is the noble gas above <coughs> titanium? Argon. Argon. So here's what you do. Thank you. We need to get WD-40 for the door, seriously. So you write argon in brackets, okay? Because what we're going to do now, we are going to just write what comes after argon. That's it. So, like, we got argon right here. We're going to write only what comes after it, which in this case is what? 4S. 4S and 3D. Nothing else. Hang on. So you're just going to write 4s, and that's 2, and then 3d, and that's 2. So we're saying all of this right here, that's equal to argon. Okay, same thing with this. Because there's two electrons in 4s. What? The reason we use argon is because that's the one that's above it. Like, if you look at titanium, the noble gas that is above it is argon. Is it always noble gas? Yes. The only things you can do this with, hang on, 
are noble gases because noble gases have a filled stable electron configuration shell thing that is always filled up correctly. A lot of other elements, like I was saying, they can have exceptions. We're not getting into that, but you can't really use those as reference points. Noble gases, you can for sure. Yeah, what was your question? Um, why do we need to use that? Why do we need to use this? Because in the end, this is a lot faster than right now. To These get a lot longer than this. This is a lot faster. So how did, so I can answer. Yeah, like so on a test or something, I'm going to ask you about this stuff like individually. I'm just going to be like, write the noble gas configuration for something. You don't have to do everything else. It's just going to be, you, that's why I'm saying you have to recognize what each thing is. That's the important part of this. It's not like you're going to do all three of these at the same time. Unless you absolutely have to to figure them out, which I hope <coughs> you don't, honestly. Yeah. Uh, you know how for when you did sodium, you only did like an E for and and the 35 ones? Okay, but why did you use like 4S, 2, and 3 Aren't you only just using no, you have to use, so you're saying why is there two things here yeah. instead of one? Yeah. The reason, you have to you have to show whatever is after it. So like, let's say I had something like, uh, let's say that I had bromine. If I was going to use argon, I'd have to go 4S, 3D, and then 4P. You have to use just whatever is after it that you need to, okay? Uh, anything else? Oh, 